Hi folks, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements, and here we are in Premiere Elements 2019. Among the new features added to the Elements programs here in version 2019 is this new splash screen that they're calling the Hub. Now the Hub not only gives you options, of course, for launching the Video Editor, Premiere Elements, the Photo Editor, Photoshop Elements, or the Elements Organizer, as well as the most recent files you've been working on, but it also includes a couple new features. You'll notice up at the top, you see some tips and tutorials, and you can scan through those. Those are ever-changing. But in their efforts to make the program more user-friendly, Adobe has linked the program in through the Hub to a number of tutorials and tips. If you want to know, for instance, how to add titles, you simply go up here to the search box at the top of the screen. You can either type in plain English or just keywords, titles, and it will bring up a list of tips and tutorials. By the way, a number of these tutorials are actually created by me, so get used to the sound of my voice. Let's go back to the main hub. Additionally, you'll notice down the lower left hand corner are auto creations. Right now I've only got one auto creation there in the lower left hand corner, but the program will be continually generating these. So each time you come back to the program, every day you come back, there are going to be a few more auto creations. These auto creations are in the forms of slideshows, video collages, photo collages, sometimes mini movies. They're created automatically. Now these auto creations you can reject or you can open them and when you open them it launches either the photo editor or the video editor and you can continue to build them out. Let's open up the video editor, Premiere Elements. And here we are in the main editing workspace for Premiere Elements. Not a lot of difference in the expert view, very similar to what was here before, just a little bit of kind of resurfacing. If you go over to Quick View, it's changed pretty dramatically. Quick View has been greatly simplified. You notice there's only one track for your audio and video. There's not an additional track for adding titles. There is only one other track, and that is for adding music underneath your video. So it's very simplified space for quickly creating movies. Let's go ahead and add media. You notice even this has been greatly simplified. We'll just grab some things from files and folders. Just gonna grab a couple of video clips by holding down the shift key and grabbing a series. And of course, in Quick View, there is no holding area. There is no Project Assets panel. Any media you add are immediately added to the timeline, which is actually more of a scene line. You don't see the length of the clips illustrated here. What you see are just thumbnails. They're easy to rearrange the order of, of course, simply by dragging around. You'll see as you select a clip that you have the option up above here to add a title. Just click on that plus button, and I can call this Eric. The same options in the title adjustments area as there have always been. We'll take a look at that a little bit later in this eight part series. And my only options for the title are where it begins and ends in relation to the clip that it's attached to. So when I click on this little stopwatch, I can set how long the title lasts and at what point in this 26 second clip the title comes in. So I can make it come in earlier, later, wherever I want it to come in. But the titles cannot expand over more than one clip. They are literally locked to the clip. You can edit your clips here on this timeline by clicking on this little button here in the lower right. That will give you the option to open up Smart Trim. And this is a workspace where you can select which portion of that longer clip is actually used in your movie. We show you how to use that in the book as well as in some of the other tutorials at moviepix.com. And when you click Add Music, you can add either from the Scores library, or you can click on the folder and a browse screen opens up so that you can select music from your own personal library. Now, once you go back over to Expert View from Quick View, you often get a little warning because Expert View is so much more advanced than Quick View. Once you start editing in Expert View, it's very difficult to go back down. Okay, so you can't go back into Quick View after editing in Expert View. Any media we add here in the expert view is added into the project assets area, and it's from there then that we would add them to our timeline. We'll take a look at how to import media into your project, as well as how to get it off of a device like a camcorder, in part two of basic training with Premier Elements 2019.